What's up, guys? I am so excited to be with you guys today. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the club championship so far and just honestly wanted to share a little bit about the meta uh, on the defensive side of the ball, the meta that's shifting, and kind of wanted to talk you through um, you know what that means for you guys. So if you haven't been to my channel before, my name is Cody, and what I do is I do Madden 21 tips and tricks, right? And I I do that every single day. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, be sure to subscribe. Um, and also, if you want to get the uh, defense that I'm going to be talking about in this video, the link is in the description. You can also text me for a free sample, um, and you can also join our text message membership. It's completely free to text me. Uh, my cell phone number will pop up on the top left hand of this corner of the screen here in just a second. But what I want you to notice is as you watch, this is Noah up next. And we're going to back this up. And we're going to actually watch Pavin play uh, on defense as well. So Noah is uh, obviously the, the Patriots. Pavin is the Raiders. As you see here, same, same kind of, really same kind of structure, same kind of strategy. And a lot of people, obviously he gave up a big play right there, but a lot of people have said that Pavin is actually running one of the best defenses, at least so far, in the community. And you'll notice this if, in, as we shift into this play. The defense that these guys are all using, and I'm not even kidding you when I say all, with the exception of maybe one or two players in the club championships, you are seeing a ton of nickel 335. Nickel 335 and nickel 335 wide. And the reason why you're seeing this defense is because it is the best defense available in Madden 21. It gives you the ability to stop the run, rush the passer, play great coverage defense, cross man, and have instant turbo rushes that you can use. So what we're going to show you here is kind of one of the basic blitzes and coverage defenses that you're seeing from both Pavin and from Noah. And you will also see the same defense if you watch any Madden player play right now. So we're going to jump right over here into our gameplay. I can show you other players as well, but this is the most popular defense. It's the best defense, and we actually released this defense about a month and a half ago um, to our community. So if you want to pick up uh, the, the defense of Ebook, the whole scheme, um, it's in the description. If you want to get a free sample of the ebook, you can text me. My number is 812-216-3644. It's in the top left-hand corner of your screen. But what I wanted to do just really, really briefly is talk about why this is such a good defense. And I also wanted to share with you one or two plays from the uh, club series. So the first things that you want to do is you want to make sure your coaching adjustments are always uh, right. So you can run with a, a, a alignment on default. I've been kind of messing around with man aligning. Um, but we'll put ball in air defense to play receiver. This can be anything here, honestly. I'm going to go with man align, but you could do any of these. Quarterback matchups is going to be on balance. Option defense is going to be on to conservative. Uh, these two don't really matter to me right now. You can put them on aggressive if you wanted to. I would not. I would just leave them on balanced. And then for me, I'm going to put curl flats on 20. You can change the zone drops based off the situation and the moment as well. So, the number one reason why the nickel 335 is the best defense in Madden is because it allows you to get the best personnel without having to worry about getting weak box. So what I mean by best personnel is linebackers are really not people that you want to be consistently relying on in coverage. What you would much rather do is have safeties or corners. The reason why is because corners and safeties jump routes much, much, much better than linebackers do. So I'm going to show you here. I'm going to put Kader Holman with the Packers. They're perfect for this scheme because they have so many fast safeties. But what you'll do is you'll put corners at your five cornerback positions. And then when you get to these linebackers, you'll notice that because it's a nickel formation, I can sub in safeties at linebackers. This is in the 46 playbook. Some people are running this out of the New York Giants playbook so that they can have access to Dime 146. And if you run it out of that, you still run this defense very similar. The only difference is you're not going to have the ability to sub in safeties at these outside linebacker positions. As you see right here, there's no way to do that. So you would have to have then have maybe two extra pass rushers, which I personally think is not a good way to play this year. So um, that's why I run the 46. That's why 4-6 is the defensive playbook I choose. So anyway, let's just jump into a setup here. 
And what you notice is in my audibles, I put Mike Blitz 3. Mike Blitz 0 and Mike Blitz 3 are the kind of the mini scheme that I'm going to share with you here uh, really quickly. So you come out in any play that you want to out of nickel 3 through 5. I personally will come out in either cover 4 drop, cover 3, or cover 3 cloud. Um, I used to come out in FS middle 3 or SS Mike cross to help a little bit with run support, which you can do that as well. And we break down all of this for you in the ebook, kind of in depth, and show you exactly step by step how to do it. Anyway, so nickel 335, come out and cover four. And all we're going to do is we're going to audible to Mike Blitz 3. And the default look that we're going to provide or that we're going to give is we're going to spread our defensive line. We're going to crash our defensive line out. And then from there, we're going to user this guy right here every single time. And as you'll see here, this is kind of what it looks like against Trips tight end. And if you wanted to send five, what I would recommend doing is go ahead and shading the coverage down so that as you can see here, we're able to get hard flats on the field. And this little blitz right here is super, super effective. As you see on the right side, the pressure comes in really, really quickly, and you're typically able to get almost instant pressure. That time we got nano detected. What's really nice about having uh, safeties at linebacker is they have 94 and 95 plus speed to be able to get home. So again, you're just going to stand right here, come down a little bit, and as you see, you get that instant pressure off the edge. The beauty of this defense is not just good against the pass it's also good against the run so let's say that somebody tried to run the ball out of maybe trips tight end if they try to run the ball out of this you see here it typically does a pretty good job of hanging with the running game as well the other thing that i want to share with you is you can do this from both man and zone so if i audible to play mike blitz o you see literally all i have to do is spread my line and crash it out and that's it everything else that I need to do is basically just pre-snap coverage adjustments and the pressure is going to consistently work for you. That's what's awesome about this defense is it's so simple, it's so user friendly, it's easy to really maneuver and to mold. You can do so many things with it. In my opinion, it's the best defense in the game because not only can you send pressure, but you can also have really, really good coverage. So one of the other things that I can do, you'll see here, this pretty much comes with a coverage defense built into it. All you got to do is put your outside linebackers on hard flats, and then I would put my outside, um, I would put my outside corner in a deep half on the right side of the field, just so I don't get cover three bombed. But as you can see here, now you have a Mabel coverage, and you're able to play some really, really nice coverage defense. The same thing can be true for Mike Blitz O. If you wanted to audible to Mike Blitz O, and what you'll notice here is all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my outside linebackers in purple zones, spread my line, crash them out, and then I might take the nose tackle and put him on a, uh, a uh, you know a, a spy or something like that, and that's it. And this is a really really great coverage defense as well because again those curl flats are on 20 yards. You're only sending two people, and you're going to lurk over the middle and take away any post routes or anything deep. So the point in showing you this video is to say. This is a really, really simple defense to run. There's a lot more that we unpack in the ebook, but you'll notice if you watch the club championships this weekend, almost every single good defensive player will be using some form of what I just showed you because it is truly the best defense in Madden. So if you want to get a step up on the competition and you want to be competitive and you want to be the best defensive player that you can be, Make sure to go ahead and go to the description of this video and pick up that 335 defensive ebook. In my opinion, it's very simple, very straight to the point, but it's also very, very effective. You're going to be very successful with this. And if you have any questions about it, let me know. If you want to get the free sample um, before you pick up the ebook, go ahead and text me. My phone number is in the top left hand corner, it's also in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying club championships. We'll be breaking down all the competitors. And if you have any questions about anything, you can always text me. Uh, again, that is my personal cell phone number. Thanks, guys.